Okay, the kid wants to be a robot for Halloween, so how to build a robot with your dad? Let's give it a shot. Step one, let's tear apart the old Star Wars Christmas sweater, complete with accelerometers, an Arduino motherboard, and a bunch of LEDs. We're going to scavenge it for parts, so let's get started with that. Okay, now that we've removed all these different pieces, we've got to get the old sweater bits, the hot glue, the solder, and the wires taken off them. So, let's heat up the soldering iron, get the hot glue gun out, start ripping these things off. Okay, once you've removed all of the solder and the wires off of these components, there's still lots of hot glue residue. So, putting in isopropyl alcohol will help dissolve those, it's a solvent for the glue. Okay, the kid wants to be a guardian from Zelda Breath of the Wild, and he cut his own box. There's his armholes. There's an eye hole. He cut some stuff in the back that I'll have to fix. Another armhole. So, for Zelda Breath of the Wild, we're going to put the laser beam right here in the middle. I drew up a, uh, a temporary plan here. You've got the Arduino in the very center. You've got a ring of white that goes around it. Then you got alternating colors. I'm doing yellow and pink for the next layer, and then blue and green on the outside, such that when he pushes a click button somewhere, the outer ring will signal and it'll start to flash, and then it'll move to the inner one, flash faster, and finally the center one, which will flash the fastest one yet. So I figured out what pins need to be used for what for the different colors. I had to figure out which ones were my PWM pins, if I had enough power for everything, and we're good to go. Okay, so there's the eyeballs the boy will see through. I've got a rough design. I'm gonna try and touch this up, do some hand paint, because the spray paint's not so great. Or at least I'll go back over and try and fix a little bit. But you got the middle band where there's like the swirlies. Down below you got the little circles connected to each other. It goes around. For some reason the spray paint sometimes was nice and it popped, other times it's this flat thing. So I gotta figure out what's going on there. But it goes all the way around. I'll touch up that blue, get this to be a nice circle, and then put my electronics right in there. Okay, so I cut this part out of the Guardian because it's going to be too hard to mount all of these on it if it's on that box in the bottom. Okay, this was a little bit too large for what I had, so I decided to put the ring around the Guardian eye. I'll do the first two rings inside the blue area and then the outer ring will be that outer row of LEDs. So I've cut it out because trying to do all the soldering and connecting inside the box to get onto the box back of this would be a nightmare. So I went ahead and disconnected it and I'll attach it afterwards once it's all wired up. I went ahead and marked it. I don't know if you can see those, but I marked it since I'm gonna have 20 LEDs surrounding it. I went ahead and drew these precisely so they would be 20 um, equal portions. That's going to make it easier for me to place my LEDs on them. I'm going to go ahead and super glue them down next or hot glue them and then I'll drill holes and start connecting the individual LEDs. Okay, so I have gone ahead and I've placed the LEDs in concentric rings and if you notice these are alternating. This is a uh, yellow LED, pink, yellow, pink. Out here you've got blue, green, blue, green. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna, since there's 20 uh, LEDs per ring, I'm gonna set them up on uh, four different channels, such that we have five LEDs per channel, and that's gonna allow me to have every five pins, it'll start again. So when I turn it on, they're going to rotate. They're gonna move from channel one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it's gonna look like it's rotating on the outside. We're gonna do the same thing on the center ring, except it's gonna rotate the other way. And then the middle ones, I'm going to make PWM powered so they can be slowly getting brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter until it fires and then they'll do one, two, three, four shots. Okay, we're ready to start wiring things up. But first, all of these don't go all the way through yet. So I'm going to take a nail um, and I'm going to punch a nail through so it's easy to wire them up. So I've got something that I just, so I don't just hammer into the wood below it and we're going to punch it through. Okay, I've now wired the common end of that first ring. Since it's common, I can just connect them all together. That was my simplest one. I made a series of sort of uh, copper staples and I punched them through. 
so that they, they wouldn't show up on this front side. And now that the grounds are all connected, the common, I can connect that to the ground on the lily pad, and then I can start connecting the positives. Okay, starting to wire it. On my first circle, I've already wired the grounds, and I'm going to have two different uh, channels. I'm going to have five and six controlling alternating LEDs. So you see that the red jumps the white, jumps the white, jumps the white, and so forth. So by wiring that, I'm going to be able to control both of these with PWM on our innermost ring. That will allow the laser you know, to have these white ones that sort of change. They can change their intensity um, as well as just being on and off. Okay, we've got it wired. So we go ahead and pull out our own meter now and let's make sure that it, it's connected all the way through. We're going to connect five right here to the positive of that. And sure enough, it's connected. Same thing with this, we're going to do six, the positive there, and it's connected. So we're connected all the way through on the positive end. We already tested the negative end, so that first ring should be ready to go. We can go ahead and start in on the next one. We've got to reapply these pieces because the hot glue, they fell off as I was flexing this a little bit. Okay. I want the final product to have the rings doing different things. The outer ring, I want it to rotate. I want the, the lights to turn on a sequential pattern going around this way. At least, you know, groups of five doing so at the same time. The inner ring I want them to do, say, clockwise. And then the inner ring will do something different. Therefore, I have to wire these up a little bit separately. So what you're seeing here is um, this first ring. This is the white LEDs. This second ring that I'm wiring up right now, that's the pink and yellow LEDs. And you see that I'm wiring four different channels up to this, and I'm doing them sequentially. So first channel, then I skip four, and I do the next, then I do that one again. Second channel, skip four, do that one. Third channel, skip four, do that one. I'm going to wire up this last one, and then it'll be finished, that second ring. Okay. This will allow me to control groups of uh, four at a time, so I can make five groups of four rotate around when it gets triggered. Okay, I've now wired all three rings of LEDs. I also zoomed in and I made uh, connections for the grounds, right? So the grounds are now all connected to one another. Right now they're not hooked up to the, uh, the ground of the circuit yet, but I'll do that next. Right now all three of those rings are set, <clears throat> so we can move on to the next stage. Okay. I'm testing all my LEDs one at a time, and I realized that on the blue, I accidentally put in a couple of greens. So I'm going to have to go back through and fix those and make sure that I um, get the right LEDs in the right spot, because right now they're mixed up. Okay, my spray paint job was pretty crappy. The colors, you know, are not great. So we paint painted it black again. Might need one more coat. And my wife is going to paint it with actual paint by hand, and I think it's going to be a lot better. Okay, this is going to be the power setup, right? So you've got this little system here that allows you to recharge a lithium-ion battery. This is a 3.7 volt battery, 1,000 milliamp hours, right? You can buy it off of lots of places online. Um, here's a, a this device allows you to recharge it, and then it basically has like your positive and negative, right? So positive and negative over here. Those get connected uh, right here to your positive and negative, and that will power the Arduino. Okay, my painting job was awful, so we called in the big guns, and she's doing a painted by hand job here, and it is going to be much, much better. Plus, the little horn things that we need to get on it, we're creating out of these cardboard cutouts. I'm going to build those right now. Okay, we've got little top things coming together out of boxes. These are just little cereal boxes that I cut and pieced together. We'll cover it in duct tape and spray paint it so it's nice and black. And around the other side, the maestro's doing a pretty good job. We'll fill in with hot pink once this stuff dries. Okay, I've wired a bunch of these little red LEDs all around the outside. There's ten of them, so three on the big faces, two on the small faces. Um, I ran all the wiring inside. And you can see I duct taped it down to make sure that my kid doesn't accidentally pull any of these things by accident when he's wearing the costume. OK, 
Okay, we've painted, put on the ears. We've painted the main body. We've got the laser attached. Everything should be working. If you notice down here, we've got four buttons, right? This first one turns on the laser, and these three have to do with sound. We've got an on and off switch that control the two different Arduinos. So here's what we're looking at on the inside. To make all of this work, we have wires everywhere. So there's the, uh, the back of the center eyepiece, everything soldered together. You see the solder wires going to the red ones that go around. Down here, there's a lot going on. So here's the recharger. This is the, the power is currently coming from a battery up here. That goes to power the laser. There's a backup battery, so if on Halloween night they need a little extra power, he can swap this out and he's got plenty of power. Meanwhile, this thing is the MP3 Spark Fun Shield and a regular Arduino. Those are being powered by this 9 volt battery. Both of those have on-off switches. So, the last thing we need to do is to get a actual speaker. We need a mono amp and then we need a small speaker. So we'll install that and then we should be done. Okay, we've got the, uh, from our MP3 player, we now have the mono amp breakout running an 8 ohm speaker. And if you look at the volume on this, we hit this uh, speaker, it's really quiet. So what I'm going to have to do is here on this mono amp, you've got these two resistors right here. Um, there's one, and here's the other one right above it. I'm going to replace those with larger resistors. You can go down as low as 15 kilo ohms on both of those, and that will send a larger signal through the speaker without blowing it. So we're going to give that a shot. <clears throat> okay, so the last thing I had to do was put legs on this monster. To put legs on it, I just stuffed a coat hanger through a corner of the box, bent it down and under. So you can see that they bend under, and that sort of holds it in place. And now our monster is ready to go for Halloween night. Okay, here's the nearly finished product. It's basically ready to go. You'll notice when it's running in, um, before you touch any buttons, these red lights sort of pulse. So I programmed them so they're constantly pulsing like it's on the lookout for somebody. And when you see somebody wants to blast with his laser, he just has to trigger this first button. That sets this off, it rotates, the second ring rotates, the middle one's building, and then it blasts four laser blasts. And then down here you've got the music. It's still not as loud as I'd like, so something's going on, but it plays a couple different songs. And you can turn it off as well. So, should be good for Halloween night, we're ready to go. And here we are, all the effort coming down to Halloween night with the laser blasters. Y toca un poco de música, baby. Toca la música por abajo. Ahí está, baby.